In high school, I was in this program called Beats, Rhymes, and Life, and it's uh, hip-hop therapy. Like, and I was in it the first year they started at Berkeley High, and it's a nonprofit in Oakland that they've, you know, they're still going, and it's a beautiful thing. And I can tell you, like, like being in that community when I was 15 and around these other kids and expressing myself, learning the tools to be able to do it, and the hope that music provided, but also just the outlet and at the end of the program that year, we got to perform. Oh, yeah. And man, like I, like I can't even stress like the, the, the magnitude of what that represents like in your mind of being able to be like, I'm gonna get on a stage and I get to share my work. And it was nerve wracking, I mean, I was nervous as shit. Like I was like, oh my God, you know what I mean? But like that idea of having that to look forward to was just like, man, gave me so much like hope and like just, it fulfilled those dreams. about 20% of the population of homelessness in San Francisco. So every night, 1,300 young people lay their head on the street. So Larkin Street's been around for about 35 years. Yeah, we work with runaway homeless youth, 13 to 24. Um, our work is really designed to both create um, immediate opportunities for safety and sanctuary for young people, and then to work with them to build the skills and tools they need to successfully transition yeah, to cool. adulthood. So that includes housing and education and employment. Art, um, both visual and performing, has always been key part of our work. Larkin means family, a uh, place that I know that I have a solid meal to eat and get my medication. It keeps us busy, it keeps us out of trouble, it keeps us off the streets. I've been coming to Larkin Street for about eight years now. Um, came out here when I was 18. Been struggling in and out, just trying to get my shit together. But you know, if it wasn't from Lockheed Street, I would never found my passion for music. So a young person can come in and receive help getting their GED. We have college scholarships. And then in terms of employment, right, they can come in not having any job skills at all. We have job readiness programs. We have internship programs. We can place them in different fields. But the ultimate goal is to have our youth uh, get sustainable employment, right, so they can live healthy and productive lives. But Larkin Street also does a very good job of like authentically capitalizing on youth voice mm -hmm. to the point where they can actually start to advocate for not only themselves, but for other people as well. You know, my, my story is not uncommon around here. Broken home, I've been in and out of the system since I was seven years old. Foster care, justice system, you name it, I've been there. Mm -hmm. um, and I came in here with a lot of need, you know, a lot of need. I needed somewhere to live. I needed uh, skills so that I could learn how to, you know, just move through society yeah. without ending up back where I had come from. Uh, but more than anything, I was lost, you know, like I had lost the part of me that made me me. I had lost the path that I was supposed to walk in life. And other people have the opportunity to explore what that looks like for them. Thank you. Yeah. No, so thank thank you. No, no, thank, I, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Because, you know, not everybody can even, you know, like to, 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 to admit that, to find that, and to come here and to work. And then to use everything you gain through that work that you put in and then project. And it's like, you, we all are singular like human beings, but we also have power to communicate, to work together, to make actual difference. And the fact that like through your singular experience of admitting that you were lost and coming here to do something and, and then working through it and then developing what you've developed and then projecting that out onto others in the world, thank you. Every time I come around, it's like they make you feel welcome. I have crazy, crazy stage fright. Like I could never talk in class. I like public speaking was always super hard for me. And the first time I ever got on stage, I remember that feeling because you know I was I was like not sleeping. I was so nervous, so scared. And I knew that like inevitably, you know, it was like six weeks away. And I knew one day I would wake up and it would inevitably be that day that that night that show would have to happen. I would have to do that. You know what I mean? And like. I can't tell you the transformation in terms of my, not, not just performing, but sense of self and worth and confidence and ability to like understand my power as a human being of what I'm capable yeah. of and what I'm able yeah. to project and say and do and accomplish. 
changed the night I actually got on a stage and then got off of it safe and sound in one piece and was like, <laughs> I did that. I did that. It's behind me. That monster's behind me. I have to make it true. There's a lot of things that I never knew when I'm giving. All of what I have, I gave it, but they gave it back. And it's more than money and stacks. My body cannot relax. Damn. Uh. Uh. <laughs> it's so beautiful getting a place to like express yourself and create and it's all relative it's whether it's you're drawing you're painting you're it's showing your paintings to people or whether you're writing songs and performing them for people or whatever and i just man the power of art you use these services to to push towards your future in a way like you can't like so i think the biggest mistake i made when i first came here was was expecting them to give me give me a song give me a house just, just give it to me because you know that's what I was expecting, but I didn't realize I have to go do the shit myself. And that Larkin just gives me the resources to go get it. This is a stepping stone. That's what Larkin really means for you, for at risk youth, 18 to 24 years of age. Give me a chance and an opportunity every morning when they're outside in the cold to bring them inside the ECC, give them a hot breakfast, sit down, talk to them, you know, get them a referral, uh, send them to a case manager, try to support them with education and job. It was uh, some real dark times out there when I I, I couldn't see the see the sunshine and. Uh, I made it through with the help and the support of a lot of the Larkin Street staff. I wanted to give back to the youth and I wanted to give back to people and just show people there's a chance that you can be down but somebody can help you and bring you up. For you to come out to Larkin Street, that's, that's really nice uh, for me because that's, that's saying that people really do care and who's in the absolutely, industry. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I mean, we're all human beings at the end of the day. Everybody's got a different story and whatnot, but I like that. You know, that's real life. Like that's this, so this in St. Anthony's is the two main parts of this community. Like they help this community so well. St. Anthony helps with the older, and this helps the young. Yeah. Let me. If it wasn't for, I can say for me personally, if it wasn't for Torrance, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. If it wasn't for Torrance, Carlton, and a couple other staff that's in here, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. And at the end of the day, for you to come out here and to show all of this appreciation, yeah. that's mad respect, man. Oh, yeah, that's love. Mad respect, man. That's mad love, bro, because not a lot of people do that. And I wish there's more people happy, like bro. you that would come out here and show love and give back and yeah. at least show the community that there's more than to just yeah. be out here using drugs. Yeah, for real. You feel you can do anything you really want to, and that's, that's the message that you get to them. I really do, like, still remember the feeling of, like, at um, Beach Johnson Life, like getting it performed for the first time when I was 15 and having that thing to look forward to and like being nervous, but how much confidence it gave me after actually getting up there and like, like not only just like making music, but then getting to perform it in front of people, mm -hmm. it felt so real. We in Macramento, man, you feel me? Endless summer tour, you feel me? It's big love for Sacramento, you know what it is? <laughs> Make no mistake, listen, it's the life that I was chosen for. All I prayed for was an open door. I've been rich, I've been broke before I seen the floor. You try to put me in a box, I box. Like, what the fuck we voted for? And most of y'all should probably party less and focus more. And if that line resonates, you probably who I wrote it for. Uh, what will I go from here? IDK, they want me to architect wrong in a day. Juice knew I was greatness when he looked at me. Right away, I made platinum records that I'll never see the I support you because you support us. Mark and his whole community, bro. Yeah, I'm from the town, I'm from East Oakland. When I gave up with myself hard, Mark and looked out for me. So you looking out for them that day? That's why I wear your shirt, that's why I wear your shoes, bro. That's why I do this. I appreciate you being here, man. Like, all this stuff. The way you're at in life, bro, all this stuff. I was doing what I got from Chad. This is a fundamental human characteristic. That's our job as human beings, bro. Because we don't live on a planet at all. Man. Yeah. So I appreciate it. So happy y'all made it.